Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're not. Uh, so today's video is actually inspired by this comment that I got a while ago. Why? Uh, because I decided like, why not? <laughs> At first I was like, I'm not gonna expose myself like that. But then I was like, then what the fuck is this channel for if not to expose me? Apparently my mom is way too cool to watch Revenge of the Sith with me. So y'all are just stuck with me and my shitty spending habits. So let's begin. Starting off with like the gifts, I guess all of these can be gifts, but like these ones in particular. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with something I got in Hongdae. I've already talked about this before, but there's like a little stand in Hongdae where you can basically just burn any image you want into a piece of wood. There are bigger ones like probably four times as big as this like one, two, three, four. I kind of just got a picture of my two babies. These are my children, Tigra and Andromeda. So yeah, here's a cute little gift idea if you want. So yeah, this is in Hongdae. I don't remember exactly where because I just remember like walking around in circles. I did not find it. And then the next day I found it and I was like, I guess they were just closed. But if I am able to find the closest area to it, I will try putting like the link in the description so you guys can find this area. But it's really cool. It's just like a little stand. It's got the machine outside and it's got a whole bunch of different images that you can like, well, examples basically of this. So it's hard to miss if it's open because <laughs> if it's not then you'll miss it and just walk in circles like I did <laughs> the next one so this is something that I got inside of a store in Insadong they had a whole bunch of different gifts that you could get it's basically kind of like just a gift shop because in Insadong there's a whole bunch of different stores so this is something I got there uh, because I love pomegranates. Fun fact, I am a sucker for pomegranates and I have been as long as I could remember. So I saw this and I was like, uh, it's mine. <laughs> I also got like this bell that you can put outside in your garden for my mom. It's got like a little butterfly on it. It's really cute. Like, all of these little booths are inside of like one area. And it's, it's like one store, but with like a whole bunch of different vendors. They have bracelets. They've got all types of like different types of jewelry. They've got like imanes everything it's just there's so much hats little boxes for jewelry and actually the lady all the way in the back of this area takes us dollars so if you don't have anyone she will come in clutch i don't know if the rest take us dollars but i know she did so yep here we go from Insadong. now on to myeongdong my uh wigugin hat i was in myeongdong and i was looking for a hat that said wigugin on it because i was like it would just be so fucking funny if i unironically had a hat that said foreigner and i was just walking around korea as a foreigner with a hat that says foreigner i don't know why my dumbass mind i thought that was funny but like i still kind of do they got a whole bunch of different hats i say a whole bunch of random shit not just in myeongdong they have them in different areas like different like shopping areas but i just thought it was funny if i got one that said wigugin on it so that's where this is from it's from myeongdong <laughs> and it was so worth it i think it was like fifteen thousand won, about what like twelve dollars some shit yeah i don't know but I'm gonna do the rest of the video with my hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all like my shirt? I'm literally just gonna like buy shirts that like has BTS on it, but doesn't say it's BTS, just so if somebody knows it's BTS, they can be like, oh my God. And then like, boom, conversation started. You know what I mean? Like I'm super introverted and I don't know how to make conversations. So if I can just have a shirt that does it for me, this next one is actually my favorite out of all of the things that I bought. So it comes in here, this really cute box and it was a mug my little soul mug apparently they have like i think five of these it's like what incheon jeju seoul and like two more but i forgot the other two but yeah it's like a whole collection they not only have these but they also have like the coffee ones like the the tall ones i don't know i don't drink coffee i drink water out of this and occasionally goldfish so this is from Starbucks. It's super adorable. It's a really good gift idea as well. This is what it comes in. This is what it looks like. It is gorgeous. I don't remember how much this was. Yeah, I don't remember how much it was and I don't want to give you guys a fake number because my dumb ass doesn't remember. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> Cute little mug. <laughs> On to one that really fucking disappointed me. So in Hybe, they have these like cases. It's like a Hybe Insight case. They also have them on Weavers and they are so nice. Like it's 
I don't even know how to describe it. it like maybe like holographic it's like a clear case but like holographic and it just got like a little squiggle and it just like changes colors depending on like what angle you see it this is what it looks like after one month of actual wear and tear do you see this shit first of all let psh, give me one second yeah i got like another one of them because i was like oh when it gets beat up in like a year or so i can switch it out ha 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 so this is what it looks like right this is what it looks like after one month. Y'all see this? Okay, other than the fact that it's literally like fucking brown, which like all clear cases turn brown. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? It like ripped apart at the seams. Also, I wish, I wish so badly that they had put like some type of finish on top of this because look how easily it got scratched. And I wasn't dropping my phone. I don't have butterfingers like that. Like my phone doesn't just like, I'm in an abusive relationship with hype. Like they keep making shitty products and I keep thinking, no, they'll fix it. Oh my God. They don't. I got a shirt from Permission to Dance in Las Vegas. It was the orange one, right? It just kind of has like the little skyline of Las Vegas or whatever. It was 55 fucking dollars and you can see my titties through it. Like make it make sense. Y'all got so much money. Y'all could afford Itica Holdings. Y'all can afford so much shit and y'all still choose to make shitty ass products? <sighs> Capitalism. Next thing that I got, which I don't have as many gripes with, but it's yeah, okay. I got these headphones. <laughs> oh, they're backwards. I got these headphones. Uh, yeah, so I just got these because I needed headphones because the ones that I have, these that I, I use these to mix with. Um, yeah, I, I, don't have this like entry because Apple sucks. These are Bluetooth. I got them for like $27 in art box. Yeah, it talks to me in Korean. Oh my God, talk to me in Korean.com. Shout out. <laughs> Young girl, what's me? <gasps> no, disconnect, bitch. I thought I like accidentally connected and it was gonna fuck up the audio of this video. But yeah, so I got these headphones. They're cool. Like if you're wearing them in the subway, there is definitely a shit ton of interference. I did boink my head a couple of times when I was wearing these bitches. I was like trying to get in and out of seats and just be like boink. But like, they're cute. Oh my God, like they're adorable. <laughs> Since we're an art box, I think I might as well just continue. Uh, let's continue this section. Actually, let's make it a whole section. Art box. I got this. It's um, it's a computer bag. It's fucking amazing. Look at it for your, uh, what is it called? Maleta. Yeah, for that, here it is. It's got this. You can take it off at any point. It's got these two handles. And look, this is, see, you can take it off. And then if you look in here, I didn't know this was in here, but this is a pocket where I just throw all of my cables into. And it also has these two pockets in here. Look at that. I don't remember how much it was, but it wasn't less than 30 bucks. <laughs> yeah, and so that, and then the inside is super freaking soft. Like just, it's really nice. It is amazing. I keep all of my shit in here. I've been using it ever since. And it's very like sturdy. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just extremely sturdy. Like this bitch is like, it's gonna hold on for a while. Another thing that I bought in Artbox were stickers, but that's something that I literally just remembered. No, it was sketchbooks, notebooks, etc. This is actually my journal for this year and it is completely blank. I decided to try something new and not use an actual like line notebook. So that's where this comes in. I love it. I didn't know I'd find something like this because the ones I found here were in Barnes and Noble and those bitches were north of $30. There's a sketchbook that I use for like my pen drawings, thick paper. And here's another one that I actually use. I think it's for lyrics. Yeah, I ended up using this for lyrics, but this is what it looks like. This paper is on the thinner side compared to this one, but it's still thicker than regular paper. So these make great sketchbooks, great notebooks, literally whatever you can think of. Moving on. I got the ring light you guys are on at Daiso for like 5,000 won, 7,000 won. No more than $5. It's amazing. It's got like three colored settings. You can change the brightness of the ring light. It's got two little holders or whatever. It's just what it looks like. I love it. This last one is more of like a general category. Once again, onto my jewelry. Da -da -da. <laughs> Starting off with my chain. 
this one right here i got it in home day let me actually show you guys amazing 10 out of 10. i also got my ring from the same store in home day it's like in the corner of one of the streets you like i don't even know okay so it's in the corner of one of the streets or like one of the areas where you walk down and there's a table that just displays everything and then you go downstairs into the actually into the actual jewelry shop i can't speak I, yeah, that's like the most specific I can get because I don't actually know the name of it. If I find it, once again, I will link it down below. I No guarantees though, because I don't remember. But this next time I go, I have to like pay attention to all these locations because I can't just be saying, yeah, you can get great stuff in this one place. And then it's like, how do I get there? I'm like, by walking. This one is like a ear cuff. Yeah, it's it's been a minute since I've actually worn this. But okay, so this is what it looks like. So this is for the ear. It goes like this. And it's got like a little, I don't even know, dragon, demon wing, whatever. It's really cute. I have not worn this in a minute. But um, yeah, this, this is what it looks like. Then I got these. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I just thought it was funny. It made me chuckle. And finally, these. These were, oh, the price is still on there. 11,900 won. So like what eight nine bucks something like that i don't know it's like little, little butterflies cute so yeah the <laughs> that's all the jewelry that i got i'll probably get a bracelet because i kind of want a bracelet that resembles this i don't know i just i like jewelry i like jewelry i just i get really lazy when i wear it because i have to take it off when i shower and stuff like that because i don't like wearing it when i shower even though I know some things you can wear. Like for example, the ladies that sold me this were like, you can shower with this, it's fine. And I'm like, I probably won't, but good to know <laughs> for like a particularly lazy day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the random ass shit that I picked up while I was in Korea. Send my <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.